now let's create the bottom half of the profile page. So we had one main view, which was this top view. Let's create another view below that. And now this view will have two views inside it. The first one will be for these buttons and the next one will be here for the images. So let's create the first view. Let's give it a flex direction of row. And let's add the icons in here. So they'll all be buttons. So let's start with the first button. We'll have an icon inside it. The first one would be called iOS apps outline. Let's make the button transparent. And let's just copy this button. So we need four buttons. The second one is iOS list outline. The third one will be iOS people. And the last one will be iOS bookmark. So as you can see, this third icon is not the same as this, but I was unable to find this similar icon. Next, let's just add some justify content here. Just space this around correctly. So justify content space around. There we see it's nicely spread out. And we'll just put a border top to this. So border top width of one and border top color. We'll just put in a light gray. As of now, if we click these buttons, we see nothing gets highlighted. That's because we haven't set a state for the button. So let's set a state here. Let's create a constructor. And let's set up the state. Call it active index and let's set it by default to zero. So let's add an on press on the buttons. So we'll say on press is equal to this dot segment clicked and we'll pass in the index of the particular button. And also we'll use the active prop to indicate which button is active. So this dot state dot active index. If it's equal to zero, then that means this button is active. Also, we'll style the icon when the button is active. So let's put in a style here with a conditional. So with this style is equal to put an array inside that. And we'll say this dot state dot active index. If it's equal equal to zero, then don't do anything. It'll be highlighted blue by default. Otherwise, give it a color of gray. Now let's set the segment click method. So we'll say segment clicked. Pass in the index here. And all this method will do is set the state. Update the active index to the selected index. Now what I'll do is I'll just copy all these things from this button into the other buttons. So just to save time, I've copied everything in and I've just updated the counts here, made this one for the second button, two for the third button and three for the fourth button. So here you can see it's showing by default that the first button is selected and the others are dimmed gray. If we click the second button, the second one becomes active. And if we click the third one, the third one becomes active. Now, depending on which button is clicked, we want to show some data here. So come here below this view, we'll put in a method here, which says this dot render section. And let's create this method here. So we'll say render section. This method will check for which index is active and display the data. So we'll say if this dot state dot active index is equal equal to zero, there should be if we'll return a view, which will have a text inside it saying, this is the first section. So as you can see, it shows this is the first section. If you click on the second one, nothing is shown. So here, what we want to do is we want to show the images. They should be in boxes like this. So I'll just import some images in here. So I just created a variable images and inside that array, I put in the images. These images are there in my assets folder. Now inside that render section method, we'll just add some props to our view. So we'll say style is equal to flex direction of row, since you want the images to display side by side and we'll put a flex wrap to it which is wrap so that when the image overflows, it is wrapped into the next line instead of going out. Also to keep our code clean, we'll call another method here, which is this dot render section one. And inside that method, 
we will process our images. Let's create that method, render section one. And inside render section one, we'll basically use a map method to map over each of the images and return a view. So we'll say return images.map. Inside that, we'll pass the first parameter as the image. The second one is the index. And for each image, we'll return a view. Each view must have a key and the key will keep it as the index. Now our aim is to have three images per row. So one image must be one third of the width of the device. So let's get the width of the device. For that, let's import dimensions over here from React Native. And let's just store the dimensions in two variables, width and height equal to dimensions dot get window. So here we want each view to be equal to one third the width. So we'll say style is equal to make it an array. Inside this, we we'll first set the width. It should be equal to the width of the device divided by three. Also, since we want the image to be a square, we'll set the height equal to the same, that is width divided by three. So let's save that out and pass in the image now. So we'll say image, style the image. What we need to do is give the image a flex of one and set the width to undefined and the height to undefined. This will make sure that it takes up all the space that's available to it. Also, let's pass in the image, which will be source and pass in the image there, which we get from here. So we may have to refresh this to see it. And there we see we're getting all our images. However, we're not getting this nice border that we get in between. So let's fix that. For that, we'll use the modulus function. So here we'll say, if the index mod three is not equal to equal to zero, then set the padding left to two. Otherwise, set padding left to zero. So these are basically numbered as zero, one, two, three, four, five. So zero mod three will give us zero. So this will get no padding. One mod three will not be zero and we'll get a left padding. Two mod three will not be zero as well. So we'll get a left padding. So basically these two columns will always give not equal to zero and we'll get padding to the left for both these columns. Whereas the first column will always give zero and we will not get a padding to the left. So let's save it and try it out. As you can see, we've got a left padding on the two columns. For the bottom, let's just put in a margin bottom of two. And there we can see we're getting a neat margin at the bottom. So our first tab is set up, but if we click on the second tab, we get no data. If we come back to the first one, our images show up. So let's just set up another tab. So in our render section method, we put in an else if statement. So we'll say else if this dot state dot active index is equal equal to one, then return. We had created a card component earlier, which displays the post. So we'll say card component. We'll pass in the props for it, which is image source is equal to one. And likes, we'll just put in a flat hundred. We'll just copy this two more times. Change the image source to two and three. And let's also import the card component. So we'll say import card component from card component. If we save that out, and refresh it. We see here that we need to put in a view here. We can't put the components like that. So we have to put them inside a view. Let's save that and refresh it again. And if we go into the second tab, there we see we're getting all our posts. Click on the first one, you get the first tab again. So that's about it for this profile tab. I hope you guys like this video and please try this out. Thanks for watching.